Although some people are lucky enough to find treasures hidden amongst the discarded junk, thrift stores are filled with a variety of unwanted goods. Many of the items are just old, used versions of the merchandise you can buy anywhere else for new. Welcome to World's Best Videos, we've compiled a list of thrift store finds that were worth a fortune. Copy of the Declaration of Independence A man named Michael Sparks from Nashville visited the Music City store frequently. On one of his weekly trips, he picked up a yellow shackled rolled up document. When Michael unfolded it, he discovered it was a copy of the Declaration of Independence. He had passed many copies of the Declaration before, but however, this one was clearly something remarkable. The copy was so exceptionally beautiful that he first thought it was an engraving. Michael asked the clerk for the price on the item, it was only $2.48, which he happily paid. He searched the document and then realized that it might be worth quite a bit more. Sparks brought the Declaration of Independence to an auction house. Everyone quickly recognized the true value. It was an official copy of the Declaration of Independence. On 1820, John Quincy Adam had commissioned 200 of them and only 35 of the copies were known to still exist. Michael Sparks had found the 36th. After Michael Sparks restored the Declaration of Independence, he put it into an auction. It sold for $477,000. Picasso Poster Zachary Bodish was going through a thrift store looking for amazing art to resell. He came across a poster advertising an exhibit of Pablo Picasso. The poster was of good quality reproduction. He still bought it and it was only $14.14. .14. He then went home and did some research for information on the poster. He noticed red marks on the bottom of the poster. Zachary thought that those could possibly be Picasso's signature, then realized that he could have something special. He then brought the poster to the art experts and they discovered that the poster was Linocut. Picasso had carved a design into Lilonium, which was inked and pressed onto the paper. In 1958, there were a hundred of these posters made and they were created for the annual Potter show for the city of Valerie's France. And the one Zachary found was number 6. He then sold a print for $7,000. Photo of the Billy Kid Randy loved going to the thrift shop to find hidden treasure. One day he wandered into a thrift shop and started digging through some junk boxes. He found tiny types of old pictures that were printed onto thin metal sheets. He only paid $3 for the trio. When he got home, he grabbed his magnifying glass and examined one of the photos he had just bought. He then was shocked when he recognized the one and only famous outlaw, Billy the Kid. Randy's wife looked online and found other pictures of the two people in the photo. They were a part of Billy's gang. Some collectors were skeptical when Randy told them of his find. It took more than a year for a team to authenticate the photograph and managed to identify all the 18 people that were in the photo. The people in the picture was Billy, his gang and friends and family, playing croquet taken in Chav's country, New Mexico. It became clear that it was an authentic photograph. Randy's photo was appraised and insured for $5 million. Well, that concludes the video guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to smack that like button. Let us know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up with the world's best videos.